like, I do doubt myself a lot. And like, for example, before I apply for a job, I look at the role first, and I, I'm straight away I'm like, oh, I can't do that. I don't, I don't think I've, I'm clever enough to do that. So I went for the interview. I felt really confident, and I came out. I thought, oh yeah. I feel like, yeah, I fit in well and I know the team, I know how the processes work. And then I didn't get the job. Sorry, we get getting upset, sorry. I didn't get the job and, um, yeah, I just felt like I proved myself really hard in that role. I never thought of like anything racist or anything like that, but I just feel like maybe because I don't speak as well as they do and that's why I didn't get the role as well. My culture, we like to work hard, and when I work hard, I'm quiet. And my manager's like, Diana, why don't you come get, get some cake? And I was like, I don't want to get cake, so I'm doing my work. And he, and he just said, oh, you don't seem like you want to join in with, with us. And I have to be sort of loud and chirpy like everyone else. They won't know how I feel until I speak up a bit, bit more. And I feel like if I just let it pass by and not say nothing, there's not going to be a change. But I feel like people need to educated like about their background and how their um, working practice is. I think sometimes they're just not aware because everyone's busy and it's just a busy environment and you don't have time to sit down with you and understand how you're feeling stuff like that. So I feel like sometimes we have to go out there and tell them how we feel so they can make a change. Yeah.